Today, we're gonna turn sour candy eating into a healthy thing by making some sour candy grapes. It's super easy, super simple, only a few ingredients, but we're gonna throw a twist on it. We're not just gonna make sour candy grapes, we are also gonna make some spicy candy grapes. Let's eat some candy in a healthy way. It starts with two bowls of grapes, one for spicy candy and one for sour candy. I like green grapes. I think they just make things so much better because they have a little bit more tang and a little bit more sweetness and a little bit more sourness to them. You can use red grapes if you want, but don't use green grapes. Two cups of grapes, 100 grams, 100 grams. One cup in each bowl. We are gonna blast these grapes with some lemon lime juice. If you wanna use fresh lemons and limes, you can, but we're making sour candy. There's nothing fresh about sour candy. Just do this until they're covered with the lemon lime juice. This is just lemon juice, but if you have lime juice, you can use that too, it doesn't really matter. But look, it says real lemon. So anybody who's gonna get on me for not using fresh lemon that I freshly squeezed myself, if you're gonna get on me for using lemon from a bottle, guys, it says real lemon. They're telling me it's real, okay? There's nothing fake about it. And to get the sour candy kick started, The sour hits a little bit late. You take your two bowls of grapes and you give them a swirl because you want all the lemons, you want all the grapes coated in the lemon juice. So once you do that, put them down, let them chill, let them sit in that acid for some time to absorb and get more sour. I think 15 minutes is a bare minimum, but you could leave them overnight if you want to. You can leave them for a month if you want to, you're just gonna have pickled grapes. I made a batch last month and I've let them sit for a long time. Look what they've turned into. These are grapes, I promise. The longer you let them sit, the more pickled they get. They literally just turn into pickles, I don't know why. But once you've let your grapes sit in the acid for 15 minutes, they're gonna be more sour. So we're gonna transfer them to some plastic bags to freeze. Guys, do not freeze glass. I don't know exactly what happens, but I know bad things happen and the glass can shatter. So don't put it in your freezer. I don't know, that's what my mom used to say to me and I don't know the science behind it, but she also told me that I can't turn the light on in the car because it's illegal and I don't think it is because why do they have a light in the car? So if you wanna take a risk, put your glass in the freezer, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna listen to my mom. Take your grapes and toss them in the plastic bag. Could you have done everything in the plastic bags from the start? Yes, but sometimes you can't let recipes be too easy because then it feels like it's cheating and you're not actually cooking. So the more dishes you have, the more work you did, the more proud you'll be. And a quick hack for sour candy grapes, you don't have to do this if you don't have it, it's no big deal, but it just adds that little bit of extra flavor pop. If you have lemon drink mix, this is the stuff that you put in water and drink and it turns water into lemonade, but it's got citric acid in it, and citric acid is a hard ingredient to find unless you order it online. But if you get lemonade drink mix or any drink mix that has citric acid on the back, it's gonna add that little bit of sweetness and sourness into this. So just take a tiny amount of this. That's it, you just need a small amount. Give them a toss, and you'll also have something that'll make your water tastier, so you'll drink more water, which means you'll be more hydrated. So you're gonna be eating candy in a healthy way, and you're also not gonna be dehydrated, you're welcome. For the sour candy grapes, we're gonna use Jello mix, and we're gonna sprinkle this on the grapes to give it that extra flavor. You can use any flavor you want. I'm using strawberry because it is my favorite flavor of Jello mix. Blue raspberry is my favorite flavor of candy, but unfortunately, Jello does not make a blue raspberry sugar-free Jello mix. Come on, Jello, what are you doing? Take some strawberry Jello mix and just sprinkle it in. It looks like a murder scene happened in a bag, but it's okay, it's gonna be good. This is what happens when you use a red flavor Jello mix. For this, we're gonna take some chili lime seasoning. You can use tajin, tajin, you know what I'm talking about? T-A-J-I-N. You can use that stuff if you want to. That is literally the same thing as chili lime seasoning, but I got this from Trader Joe's because I like Trader Joe's. This has citric acid as well as lime juice powder for that sourness, but it also has red pepper and chili powder for that spiciness. So, you know, the best of both worlds. Toss some of this in. 
sour candy grapes and spicy candy grapes. You don't wanna eat these just yet. You wanna freeze these for around an hour to get them harder, colder, and so much tastier. So unlike opening a bag of candy, you can't eat these yet, but they will be ready soon. In the freezer they go for one hour or longer, but at least an hour. And after one hour in the freezer, there you have it. You got your sour candy on this side. You got your spicy candy on this side. Look at that red from the jello for the sour candy. And then, I mean, you already know what the spicy candy looks like. Chili lime, baby. We gotta try these out. Right there. Literally, candy grapes. That lemon juice really comes through. And I love how these are so cold because it makes it so refreshing. And next, the spicy candy. This one. That one is so interesting. The flavors complement each other so well. That chili lime is really, really good. Should I go for it? Should I go for it? I will. This is the best day ever. Which one is your favorite? You gotta try both these and let me know because I think my favorite Guess what you think my favorite is? Leave it in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. My favorite is the spicy candy ones. These spicy candy ones are really, really good. That chili lime packs a flavor bomb and it's just, it's really good. But I promise you the jello ones, the actual candy ones are amazing. juices are popping let me know your favorite color and let me know your favorite flavor of candy down below mine is blue because blue raspberry but let me know yours is it raspberry is it strawberry it better not be cherry because that is the worst do you like cough medicine as your candy thank you so much for watching this video give it a like if you liked it subscribe if you're new and i will see you in the next one i'm not doing it again i, I can't mess up the streak i'm not tossing anything up in the air ever again and if you're wondering what happens to the grapes when you freeze them even longer, let me show you. After I tried those on camera, I put them back in the freezer for two more hours. So pretty much these have been in the freezer for three total hours, which gets them harder and colder. And this is what you get. You literally get a block of ice. You get a solid grape, and that's why I like at least one hour, but these are still amazing. And these are so refreshing because I'm chewing, I'm getting hit with that sourness. And unlike, unlike this thing right here, this is a block of ice. And this is what this sounds like. Eating that will knock your jaw out. And notice how the grapes didn't sound like that. That is because when you freeze these grapes, they don't freeze like a block of ice. It's something the magical properties of grapes where if you leave these in the freezer for a very long time and they're completely frozen solid, AKA you bang them and they literally don't bruise, they don't break, they don't change shape at all. They're literally frozen, super, super solid. But they're, ooh, that chili lime is hitting, but they're still really easy to eat. And that's why this is such a great snack because unlike a bag of candy, sour candy, if you're sitting there with a bag of sour gummy worms, you can go through the bag so quickly, so easily. And before you know it, you're one bag deep. Unlike this, this is cold and you will freeze your brain. And you don't wanna do that. So you're gonna have to take your time eating these, which is why I like it so much because you get that sourness, you get that sweetness, you get that sour candy feeling, 
but you can't go through a whole bag and you don't have a bunch of sugar and you're eating fruit. I have this Mexican hot sauce. It's called Valentina. It says picante and I think picante is the right word to describe this. I took Spanish in high school and in elementary school and in middle school. So basically for 10 straight years and I don't know what picante means. I actually can barely speak Spanish. I don't know what I did all my life, but I didn't learn much. I think picante means spicy. Yeah, we'll go with that. And since we made spicy grapes, we're gonna put some hot sauce on it. So I'm gonna take one of these grapes. I'm gonna bite the top off to make a little cavity to put some hot sauce. That's kind of a lot, but a lot is better than a little. And that is weird, but that's not bad. I told you my streak is over. Two is all I need. I don't want to go for the three-peat. I'm happy here. I'm stopping now. Goodbye.